Friday of spring fever. We're kicking off the weekend officially tonight. We got a lot of cool stuff going on. Duncan had an avalanche course the last couple of days leading into this. He had one out there today and he's gonna be giving a little bit of a presentation out here tonight while we've got this beautiful weather. We got Nate out here flipping burgers, grilling out for everybody, and the vibes are feeling great. This weekend is really lining up to be super cool. We got a ton of people in town from all over the place. Oregon, Wisconsin, Minnesota everywhere in between and uh, some cool events too. We got the beater cross track that Nate has spent some serious time building out here. This is absolutely legit. We've been ripping it a little bit on our own machines, not the beaters. Well, I guess the beaters a little bit too, but that will officially be Saturday night. And I think there's a lot of hype around it. It's gonna be super cool. But tonight we're gonna chill out and enjoy this weather. And uh, it's an awesome vibe here at Spring Fever. Visor down for sure. So. Uh, hey, when you pull you in, you've got to that. shut the sled off so the next guy in line turns it on too. So yeah. like pull in, kill it, next guy goes.
Nothing backfired on him. Record and then we dominate. <laughs> large. XL. <laughs> Most winningest team Take ever. The camera crew. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Sure doesn't look like spring today. We got a ton of snow last night and it is absolutely nuking. It was blue skies yesterday and today is definitely a pow day and we'll take it for sure. So a uh, lot of cool stuff going on. There's people rolling in. We're gonna start gearing up, head down to the lodge, meet up with some people, and then it's time to head out of the mountain. This has just been a sick day of riding with a massive crew. So many new faces out here and a lot of familiar friends too from Out West Sled Fest or other rides. And we are just having a ball. Like we've been dipping into the trees and that's where the best snow is. But then we get to an open hill like this and everybody just starts going bananas. Um, it doesn't feel like spring is in the air with all this fresh snow. It's, it feels like January, but we could already feel it starting to warm up a bit and the snow is definitely pretty springy. Chase, what do you think? Well, we're getting about time to go race some beaters. We're gonna go check that out. We've got some finishing touches to put on the 01 Summit. And then it's go time, baby. Yeah. 
That is a that is a bad boy right there. It's going to be a really tough race to call. I don't know. I know Brock's been practicing all the week, all week long. So he's got an upper hand on everybody else. He's got a line picked out, he says. So we'll see if everybody else can even touch touch that line. But we'll see. You know, racing's rubbing. Rubbing's racing. These guys are going to get out there and get pretty nasty. He's all tuned up. He's ready to rip. Oh, he's showing off what's under the hood. 600, 700, 800. What do you got? 700. Two, three. I got them all. Cody Hunt was telling me that the course is looking pretty soft, but pretty fun. So we're all excited to see how this goes down. And uh, what place do you think you're going to be walking away with today? I have no idea, but I'm looking forward to a good race. All right, I love it. Racing's rubbing, man. Get out there and rub those boys. All right, go take a practice lap. Let's see how they're feeling. We'll get them lined up. Success. Every sled, well, actually, that's a lie. Not every sled made it across the finish line, but it was very exciting to see. Seven people participated. Hopefully, there's double that next year. Uh, very, very fun little event here. Dude, just not what we, not what we wanted, not what we expected today. Pretty tough day for the team. I mean, the boys worked really hard on this sled. We put a lot of hours into the sled, and uh, just didn't deliver what we needed it to. Uh, you know, suspension felt good. I think our calibration was good there. Um, handling was great, but just wasn't getting the power down. And uh, we felt the consequences of that. You know, it's a tough day for the team, but uh, we'll come back next year stronger. Get buddy off the track. This thing was roached from the start, dude. It couldn't get past 3,000. Look at it, <laughs> oil everywhere. I think I blew my chain case or something. Listen to it once. I can't believe I even finished a race, no dude. Joke. Good stuff out there, dude. Ripping yeah, on the uh, on the old summit. Was that? Yeah, 2001, 700. Dude, beautiful. My 800 just wasn't putting it down. I think you need to be a little more picky on what side you get next year. Yeah, I mean that thing's a torque monster. You uh, you just haven't seen it yet. Ah, right. <laughs> yeah. She just got to clear out. So yeah. I'll be ready for next year. Sounds good. I'll see you there. <laughs> That's a wrap for Spring Fever 2024. What an awesome weekend. 
We even got to ride some POW, which was very, very unexpected, and got to hang out with so many of our friends. It was great to see everyone, and huge thanks to everyone that came down to support us, support the event, and, uh, and check it all out. We're super excited for this one. I think it's got a lot of potential to grow, and uh, it's gonna be even bigger next year. I know it already. While we were staying here at Beaver Creek Lodge, it was really cool. Uh, they put us up at Eagle's Roost, which is a giant cabin at the very back of their property and sleeps like a ton of people. Very cool woodwork and overlooks the whole valley here. So definitely awesome accommodations while we were in town. Huge thanks to Beaver Creek Lodge for taking such good care of us and the Smoot family for all that they did to get this event fired up. So to conclude, this weekend was a definite success and we'll see you guys there next year.